Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, dear colleagues, dear friends, one begins and ends, ideally, with uh, gratitude. And the gratitude I feel at the moment, as I see this image in front, uh, to be able to have this as we leave, uh, my family and I, Geneva, is just an incredible one. So thank you very much uh, uh, for being here uh, and uh, fulfilling this. Uh, to have worked with you, to have been friends with you, to have contributed jointly to some strand uh, here and some thread there of the stitches that maintain global peace. I have wanted to be a multilateral diplomat uh, since high school. I believe then, I believe still, that diplomacy is the name of the threads that keep global peace together. To many who are not diplomats, to think that an important process can get stuck over a comma or a word uh, for months or years is ludicrous. Uh, to diplomats, finding the right consensus word may mean the difference between stalemate and regress and dynamism and progress. Wars are started and ended with words, with a certain use of language. It is words, deeds, that form relations and the fabric of those threads that keep global peace together. So I wish to thank my ministry and the country that entrusted me to represent my country at this prestigious multilateral platform called Geneva International. Our country send their best diplomats here and it has been an honor to work with you. You have made me a better diplomat and I am thankful for it. I've also had the privilege of uh, working with great colleagues, both diplomats from capital and uh, local staff. How humbling it is for me to have worked with uh, Jelena, who had a uh, master's degree in architecture, to be an assistant, and especially during the times as we were, we were moving. Maria, a teacher, uh, Anna Maria, uh, and an arc, uh, who uh, helped me as a top diplomat would uh, to ensure that the words, quote, and affected and concerned countries was put in the global compact uh, for refugees and stays there and opens doors for, for the future. Uh, bearing in mind transit countries. Uh, Elena, who has left, and the newly arrived team of Natasha and Sehan and Burim. To Sehan, I said last uh, Monday, the elements of the 27 June uh, event are there, and I'll make it happen, and she did. And I cannot forget Vancho, uh, who left last summer, a former state secretary of the finance ministry, vice governor of the central bank, director general of the national customs office. I'm very proud to how to, together we transformed our economic dossier in Geneva, uh, most emphatically in the WTO. I've been blessed with amazing colleagues to work with. My wife asked me a couple of nights ago, we were sitting on the balcony of these commonly hot Geneva evenings. She asked, what is your favorite professional moment from this mandate? And several came to mind, uh, but one lingered vividly. It was the moment I hit the gavel in the decision with which states parties adopted the financial package for the uh, Biological Weapons Convention on the evening of 7 December last year. We knew at that moment that we had secured a much better future for the convention. We did it together, and I love being in great we. There's a similar possibility with the GG on laws. We are exploring something new on lethal autonomous weapons systems for those who are not in the disarmament. Some are concerned, some are enthusiastic, of the possibility of autonomy in many different contexts. Both emotions are valid, and all must be taken into account. But the way we're doing this in the GG and the way we're approaching uh, this complex issue is very encouraging. The potential of new technologies to transform our world is immense, and it is happening before our eyes, and ears, and nose, and tongue, and skin. We cannot move into a good future we envision neither by the way of crippling fear nor by the way of unbound enthusiasm. We must go forward with lucidity and care, and the planet we call home and all life that is on it, beginning with the human species. I have come each evening during these years here to a wonderful family. My wife, an amazing professional, paused her career and made sure that Sara and Yasen were okay in a new country, and they certainly are. They are growing into wonderful beings, and right before our eyes, and both Sara and Yasen and Yana and I have loved to call Geneva home for the past three years. Ceci est largement dû à la Confédération Suisse en tant que pays d'accueil. Mais cela est aussi dû au canton de Genève. La Suisse et Genève ont investi sans réserve dans le développement de ce que l'on appelle Genève internationale. Cette plateforme permet de traiter les questions internationales les plus pressantes et résoudre les problèmes les plus difficiles. 
Ce rôle de la Genève internationale a été démontré dans le passé. Il reste complètement validé aujourd'hui et le restera sans aucune dot dans les siècles à venir. Ma famille et moi-même avons énormément apprécié notre séjour ici. Nous garderons toujours une place dans nos cœurs pour Genève, qui restera toujours notre chez nous. We wish to reciprocate and bring a little of what we call home tonight. You were accepted at the entrance with a traditional offer of bread and salt, and then walnut loco, which I had brought from my favorite store at the entrance of the Turkish Bazaar in Skopje. You may have taken a picture there a few decades ago, and one day, and one today, and the only thing that would have changed would have been that your body would have aged. But the surrounding would be the same. And I wish to thank the Macedonia Association of Yverton Youth for offering the help tonight and uh, the welcome. At Enchi, you were also served a wine by Tikvesh, who I wish to thank for their sponsorship of much of the wine you'll try tonight. The wine at the entrance is called Baro. This is a wine that has won many global awards, a surprising and wonderful combination of Branets and Kratosia. There may still be some on the way out, but uh, we will also have a white, red, and a rosé uh, cuvée as well as some excellent rakia, great brandy, homemade, but by one of the best enologists in the country. After the concert, there will be local food to accompany the great wine, and I also wish to thank Mamas for the sponsorship on, the, on, on this, as Ivar is a staple in every home, uh, and it's something that you will find during the winters at every table at least once a day. So have a try at it. Food is an important part of feeling at home, so is space and music, and for the possibility of being here, to have this space, immense gratitude to Director General uh, Francis Gurry and his incredible team. If you want to see what true professionalism looks like, uh, have a talk with any WIPO staff, and especially from protocol. I should conclude, since we're all here for the music, and there you're in for a treat. But before I present you the musicians, one last special thanks to Zoran Pilicev, someone I feel lucky to call a friend. Zoran's brilliant mind takes him from a small village in Kavalarci, to competitions in mathematics, where he was a champion in Yugoslavia, then the competitions in the world, then to ENA, and to success in everything he does, including at the moment at Total. We owe Zoran the musical experience you're about to have, and thank you, Zoran, uh, for helping bring these wonderful musicians here from uh, New York, from Skopje. Thank you, Zoran. And thank you very much for Duque and Ismail and Nino outside for coming. Uh, we put this together in an amazing, magical uh, manner, but uh, it all has come together perfectly. I have caught myself humming uh, Duque's music many times as I walk on streets, and as many of you will probably do tomorrow. He has been educated at the eminent Berklee College of Music, he has produced and composed music for award-winning movies, and is the composer of dozens of soft, heartfelt songs. I could tell you awards and the famous halls he has filled, but ra I'd rather not give you so much verbal content. As for Ismail, I'll borrow of the New York Times. The soloist, the brilliant, fearless, young clarinetist, Ismail Dumanovsky. Another critic. His synergistic blend of natural talent and training combines the spirit of folk music with the discipline of classical music. If you would permit me, with a round of applause, to thank those who contributed to tonight's evening in some different ways, and to welcome the artist. Close your eyes and enjoy the magic of Duque and Ismail. Good evening. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador, for first for inviting us and uh, uh, for having us here all the way from New York uh, with Ismail. We arrived yesterday, so we made sure we are ready to go. And uh, it's a big pleasure to be in Geneva for the first time. I think it both of us for the first time. That's right. And it, we really have a beautiful experience so far. Like uh, we enjoy the city, but now we want to take uh, you for a little journey into our world of music. And I'm gonna start the concert with a little poetry from Rumi. Uh, it's a Sufi poet from the 13th century that I appreciate uh, for many years and I use it in my music and, uh, and I read it before I go to sleep. So it's uh, something that uh, always empowers me, inspires me. This is love to fly towards a secret sky, to cause a hundred veils to fall each moment, 
first to let go of life, in the end to take a step without feet, to regard this world as invisible and to disregard what appears to be the self. Heart, I said, what a gift it has been to enter this circle of lovers, to see beyond seeing itself, to reach and feel within the breast. I'm not going to introduce the songs because I want to have a flow of music, so I'm not going to talk much. I think you're going to feel enough throughout the songs. There is a lot of influences from uh, our homeland, from Macedonia. There's also lots of influence from European and from all the music I grew up with, so uh, from my film work and, and, and traditional. So let's keep on. <laughs>
Merci beaucoup.
Merci, благодарам. Thank you. The next song is called Home. I'm going to just introduce this one because it's uh, it's kind of written in America with the feeling of uh, I was never nostalgic really. I feel home everywhere, but it was written for our home home uh, at some point in those 20 years that I'm living over there. So, and it was uh, from a, a film, uh, a theme from a movie by Mitko Panov, The War is Over, so, home.
Merci.
Thank you very much. Ismail Lumanovsky. We worked together for 15 years, so yeah, it's probably obvious. <laughs>
Merci, merci beaucoup. Si sega kraj mene V ljubav goram za tebe Sekoj mi ko večnoste Mene rano mi je se Tuka i lamerika Pesna jedna uteha Sviri ista muzika, srce ovo mi zapira.
lástima Thank you very much. And one more. Tango the Baltic.
Merci beaucoup. C'est grand plaisir. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know how is the vibe now. We can continue or I know that we have... Encore? Encore? Okay, so...
Merci. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Ismail Lumanovsky, my friend, my collaborator for many years, my family. It's like one of our, it's our favorite traditional Macedonian song and we have a like piano clarinet version. But I hold it the next time.
Merci. I, I, I think yeah we are I think we are good yeah. for now. Yeah.